Hello everyone, welcome to JS Gigs and my name is Deepak. Here in this tutorial, we are going to be talking about the Cypress installation and we are also going to be looking at the prerequisite required to run the Cypress in your local system. And also we are going to be starting the Cypress server for the first time, right? So let me take you quickly to the browser. And the first thing what we need is basically, or rather let me just take you to the documentation of here right so what you need initially to get the cypress working is to have the node.js installed and if you don't really have a node.js installed here's the node.js um you know application here's the node.js um a web web link and you can simply go to the google and just search right um you know node.js download and you will be redirected to the place and then in the once you reach there what you really need to do is to basically in my case i'm using um in in my case i'm using mac but then in case if you are using windows or any other system maybe linux you will have to download the appropriate version for node.js right so now again uh, let me take it to the code editor and here is the application that i already have and i think i've already given you a overview of the application that i'm going to be writing on unit test cases and the end-to-end -end test cases for but in this tutorial i'm not getting, really going to be giving you the overview of the application but let me give you or uh, let me tell you the node.js version first so what you really can do is just type down this particular command and node hyphen hyphen version and once you write down the version then you can see that the output of it will tell you the version which is currently installed in your system in my case it is v280 right now i'm going to be seeing what version of um, you know npm is installed in my case it is 10.1.0 right so this is my npm and node version now let me take you back to the browser and here the browser i'll take you to the cypress installation guide here in the installation guide what it first tells you is basically to reach inside your project and install the cypress as a save dev command right so let me just copy this bit which i've already copied and i don't think so you would need a proxy if you're running it in a local system and in my case since it's not a enterprise system it's not a system given by my company it is my own personal one and i don't really have any proxy settings so you don't really need to bother about it but in case if you're using any system which is provided by your enterprise by, by, by your company then you will you may have to be a little careful about while um you know installing it and also need to install all these proxies right so now let me take you back to the code editor and in the code editor i'm going to be pasting that command which is to install the cypress save dev and i need to press the enter once i press the enter it takes a while and then it installs the um it, it installs the cypress locally and let me take you to the kit changes uh tab so here you can see that the cypress 1313 z 1313 is installed and it also uh, it has basically made just one entry which is 1331 through 1333 and in package log json usually changes whenever you do any installation right so you can just close this and i think we are pretty much good uh we already had a node.js so we need i i did not really install the node.js but all i did not have was the cypress for this particular project so i installed it and now my cypress is ready right so now uh, what I really need to do is now again, I, I want to take you back to the browser and here in the browser, uh, you know, there are other ways also in which you can install the Cypress. So first is the NPM, the one which we have installed Cypress with. The other one is the YARN and the PNPM and you can also directly install the or directly download the cypress from cdn network and can install locally there are some other advanced installation guides as well in case if you are looking out for some more complex cases you may really need to choose the advanced installation but i don't think so in the case in which um, in which we are going to be testing or rather in which we are going to be testing our application we don't really need this so i'm just moving on continuous integration is the thing that i'm going to be talking about later but not really now and a uh, system i think uh, this is this is pretty much done and uh, memory and everything else is fine all right so the next step in the, it in this documentation it says here so let me just click on it so what it really tells us that in order to run this cypress all you need to do is the run basically npm cypress open command and then a pop-up would open up right so let's just see if that works so let me take you back to the code editor all right so i've 
basically shared the entire desktop in order to run the Cypress open command because there are a few applications that gets opened off. All right, so I have shared the entire desktop of mine. The reason behind sharing this is that uh, when you run NPX Cypress open, it opens up um, it opens up uh, another window and then that opens up another browser so in order to get this done you know it is better that if i share the entire window so that you can see how things are popping up right so now I've, as i as i had copied this particular command from the documentation so i'm going to be running this right here so let me just press enter and it opens up cypress so this is the cypress of um you know this is the cypress window that opens up and then basically it is as i said that it is basically an electron js process which is running in the background and this is the ui of it right so here you have the component testing right so here you have the e2e testing and component testing as you can see that both of them are not configured really so let me go back or okay so here you have two options the e2e testing and the component testing for now we are going to be doing the component testing and then we'll come to e2e testing a little while later right so let's just click on it for the first time it detects of uh, it detects your framework and then it has all the other options available for the for the framework of your choices let's say in my case the application which i built was in angular had i built the application in react i should have chosen this particular option and similarly for fill it another other frameworks like it could be view it could be next.js or whatnot right so um i just need to select this next step and then it has it tells me that uh, you know if, if i have all the required dependencies for this particular uh, module to run right so i just need to press continue and then continue and then it is going to be initializing the configuration and once it is initialized it, it initializes the configuration it tells me to open the either the electron or the chrome so uh what i'm going to do is like i'm going to be opening the electron browser right i'm, I'm going to be opening the chrome browser i beg your pardon i'm not going to be really opening the electron browser per se i'm going to be opening the, Il the chrome browser right so start component testing in chrome you press enter it takes a moment and then it opens up another browser window right so the once this browser window opens up it it will appear here it just takes a moment before it opens the chrome so just wait for a while and there you go right so here you have the here you have the student entry cypress op opened up here so it's if you notice clearly it is nothing but um nothing but a window which the, this particular window is uh basically it running on 8082 port and once it runs in on 8082 port and it tells you the version available here as you can see that it is cypress version 1333 the version precisely which we installed and as option to basically look and then change the browser either you could do it in electron or in the chrome and here you have a link of documentation and you can basically go in there the login button is basically you're going to be used when we use the cypress cloud version but that's what we are going to be doing immediately and then here you have the run option the debug option and the setting option right so let me go back to the specs currently there is nothing appears over here why it doesn't appear over here because we do not really have any cypress ts file available so let me just write it down right so here app let's say i'm going to be doing the login testing first so what i'm going to do is like i'm just going to be creating a version creating a folder in here uh, so let's say test and then inside this test i'm going to be creating a file let's say login dot component dot cy dot ts which tells me that this is a cypress file right so the moment i write it here it's available right so uh, i'm not going to be writing any test case just here direct and that's something which i'll cover in a short while but then this is what it is right so you can basically switch between e2e and um the e2e and the component right so here the as you may have noticed that i had clicked on e2e and that's when it opened up let me go back to let me close this and then so it it moved here in the e2e testing 
so i'm going to be going back to the d2 to choose the component type again so i'm going to be choosing the comp and then start component testing once you click on it again the browser opens up and then you just need to run as you can see that the login.component.ts is available right here you can fiddle with it run it and do whatever you wish to right so okay so now i will again go take you back to uh, this particular diagram right so it tells us about the cypress architecture you know it says that it has a node.js process and then you know it has the browser and then it has the proxy and then websocket and so on and so forth right and then uh come here to the inspect and here on the network you can see these um available so let me just give it a refresh once again i'm going to be choosing the web socket so you can see that the socket is available here um so this is one particular web socket and then let me see how this functions as such so let me click here and if you go over here it has this main and this particular div let's just open this this div this navigation and all of it and then this is precisely a web page and here is the main component and also notice that this particular ui is probably written in vue.js right so um this is something that i've seen in their code base um let me just see the network tab and close this down and do a refresh once again and let me move this you click on all yeah so cypreneur okay you can see that all these vue.js files have come over here all uh, right so which take which which probably indicates that this particular application is written in vue.js then this is it's just just and just for the information it's not really going to change anything um you know for us i just that i just want to give you this information that you know it is written in vue.js that's all so uh this is pretty much it all right so uh with that i think that's that's the right start point for all of us to start rolling down right so uh what we have i'll just quickly give you a recap of what we have actually understood in this tutorial installed node.js in case if you in my case i already had a node.js so i didn't really did not uh, install it but i did not really have the cypress setup in my computer so i did the cypress install and once i installed the cypress it basically created a certain file and changes um, the package json that comes here and tells me that it is a cypress 1313 which is installed locally that you can see over here at line number 38 so once this was installed we ran the cypress open command which opened up another electron window through which we controlled whether we need to open the e2e testing or the component testing in our case we chose component testing and the moment we clicked on component testing it gave us and again another two options to either run in electron or in chrome browser in our case we chose chrome browser right so after that uh, we also try to create a simple uh, ts file so it's cy.ts file cy.ts file is precisely the extension of cypress testing files so uh, anything that ends with dot cy as we had also defined that in the configuration so that will basically appear here on the browser window which are basically the one that, that are going to be running and doing the actual heavy lifting and once this is done um that we have we are pretty much ready to go and then now we are going to be just seeing that you know what are the other files that get created when you install the cypress so now you can see that all of these are basically angular cache files and json files which are, are responsible to run the cypress properly so here it also created a folder that's something that which i should bring your attention to so it created three folders in here under the cypress which is download fixtures and support and i'm going to be explaining these as and when we reach to those points in our tutorial where we need to use some of these things here so in the moment you open cypress open and install the cypress these are the folder which gets created right so as you can see that all of these json files are also here and then e2e tests is also here the component or ts which which defines like what's what's really we are going to be doing it's mounting 
test case here and, and that's something which i'm going to be explaining in, a, in the next tutorial i just want to give you a gist of you know what we have done so far right so this is the component again and i can just close this down click over here again close this down. i don't think so i need really need this so let me just commit everything over here and then again in the moment you click on the config file of cypress which is uh which gets created here at the root itself which is cypress.config.ts that's something that we created so by default it is picking up the webpack and um you know if you had another framework and a different bundler it could basically make use of it and can do things right accordingly so in our case since we have the angular 17 application and that's why it picked up uh, you know webpack and angular and you know that's how we have finished so this is pretty much it about this particular tutorial ladies and gentlemen thanks a lot for listening in it's a pleasure to host these tutorials for you in case if you're liking my work please don't forget to subscribe to my channel also hit the bell icon in case if i post a new video you would be notified so thank you once again ladies and gentlemen i'm going to be seeing you in the next tutorial wherein we will start writing the test cases and especially the component based test cases that's all for now thank you once again and i'll see you in the next one